Quite often when I'm bullet journaling, it's easy for me to make mistakes. So I'm going to show you some of the common mistakes that I make and I'm going to show you ways that I fix them. First of all, quite often I like to write with a certain size of pen. If I pick up the wrong one, for example, I don't want my writing to be that thick, so I need to do something to cover this mistake up. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to cover over and make different headers. I'm going to black out a box and then I'm going to actually write the day of the week in white. I'm using a brush pen to do this because then I can cover more area quicker. This pen blends nicely together, so you're not going to see very many streaks in the blocking in that I'm doing. I need to make sure that this ink is completely dry before I put the white pen on top. I'm going to use a jelly roll pen and I'm going to use the size 10 so that I can really make the white lettering stand out on top of the black. Going forward, now that I have this little template, I can repeat this for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A variation on this type of cover-up, I don't know, you might spell a word incorrectly, for example, Wednesday, it's one of my nemesis. I'm going to use just a circular stencil and I'm going to just cover each of the letters with a circle. I'm just using my fine liner for this because there's not really very much area to cover. I'm going to keep them in as straight a line as possible. Again, I'm going to use my white pen just to write the days of the week in each of the circles. And I'll need to be careful to do this a little bit smaller than I did when I made the Monday lettering. Another way of covering up a spelling mistake that you've made, or even if it's just that you think, oh, I don't actually like that. Whatever reason you want to cover up, a nice way to do it is using washi tape. So washi tape comes in lots of different colours and some of it's patterned and some of it's plain. When you're covering up something like black ink, using a darker colour of washi tape is better because it will actually cover the ink. So in this case, I would just kind of incorporate it into my design and think where I'm going to stick the, the tape and then I would carry on my design around about that. You can cut the washi tape so it's kind of rectangular. I quite like ripping it because I think it looks more natural. You can see even though this is a dark type of washi tape, you can still see the lettering through it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of layer two or three tapes if I need to. So again, I can just carry on with my design. If I keep things in line, that will make it look nice and neat. And then I'm happier with that. I can just continue on my writing from there. I always draw in pencil and then I go over my designs with pen or whatever. Sometimes though, even though I've prepared my illustration, I just don't like the way it looks on the page or I don't like the way it sits. Something that I do quite often because you don't really notice it is I take a piece of paper out of the back of my journal and I stick it over the mistake that I've made. And then I'll redraw something and I'll continue going from the mistake that I'm covering up onto fresh paper so that you can see how you can blend it in and it's not as noticeable. I'm now going to just create another illustration more in the way that I had wanted it to turn out and I'm going to draw over these so that it's as hidden as it can be. I've decided I want to make bigger petals and kind of more stylized and you'll see that once I am adding the detail, you won't be able to see the illustration behind the paper quite as easily. I'm actually just kind of drawing on top of the mistake that I made underneath, following that through so that it's covered up with the pen. But the petal looks better as a leaf than it did as a petal. And I now feel that's more in line with what I had originally been wanting to create in the first place. I'm going to cover up a mistake now with some whiteout tape and with a sticker and show you how that works. The whiteout tape, instead of going completely over like this, I always just put it as sparingly as possible because even though it's covering up the black ink, the tape itself is very bright and sometimes you can see it through. 
So I just want to put as little as possible onto the page. When you're doing this, it's better to use stickers that are maybe a coloured background or instead of, this is a see-through sticker. And although I feel like the mistake is covered up quite well, I don't think people would notice it. You would get a better coverage if you were using a sticker that was printed on white paper or on with colours. One last tip is sometimes just go with your mistake. I was actually trying to write October and as soon as my pen hit the paper, I wrote an A for August and I have no idea where my head had gone. What I was doing at the time was a monthly log, so it was quite fortunate. I was thinking, how can I change this to make it work? So I thought, oh, okay, this is a monthly log. It's a calendar. I'm going to change the word to calendar. And then because this is slightly not in the centre of the page, another thing you could do is if you wanted to count in five spaces to where I've started to write the word. Because it's an October calendar, I could then add October. And then I would just proceed to draw my calendar, list my events, and it looks as if nothing has happened and I was paying perfect attention while I was writing out my month of the year. I really hope you enjoyed these tips and found them helpful and you'll be able to implement them in your own journal if and when you do make mistakes. Please follow Domestica on social media for more inspiration. And if you would like to learn more about creative bullet journaling, then check out my courses on Domestica.